In the autumn of 2011, a rare, potentially new species of sea turtle skeleton was discovered in the late Cretaceous Smoky Hill Chalk of western Kansas. Adjunct curator at the Sternberg Museum of Natural History, Mike Everhart, invited Treebold Paleontology Incorporated in to help investigate the find. Mike Treebold, Anthony Maltese, and Jacob Jett responded to the call and immediately began the investigation and recovery process. Upon assessing the depth and potential span of the specimen in the ground, chalk overburden was removed, digging down to the horizontal layer containing the skeleton. In the chalk, we call this process table topping. The nature of digging in these hard layers requires the ground surrounding a fossil to be flattened so that we can find the perimeter of a specimen and safely extract everything together, preserving both the condition and position of the bones. Once the farthest part of the specimen in every direction is found, the entire specimen is outlined. A pedestal must be created by removing strips of rock from immediately around the specimen. The rock is sliced before removal with a special rock saw to prevent shock from affecting the specimen as the pedestal is created. Once pedestaled, the specimen is jacketed using similar techniques to those invented by the first fossil hunters in the American Midwest, wrapping the specimen in plaster-soaked burlap strips. Additional reinforcement with lightweight metal pipes provides more rigidity, handles for manipulating the jacket, and a sort of pallet to rest the jacketed specimen on after it is flipped over. When the plaster cures, the hardened field jacket secures and protects the specimen inside while it is extracted and transported to the laboratory for preparation. The specimen was moved to and prepared in our laboratory headquartered in the Rocky Mountain Dinosaur Resource Center in Woodland Park, Colorado. Here, hand tools, air tools, brushes, and microabrasion were used to carefully remove the rock from the unexposed bottom side of the specimen. This revealed a relatively complete and relatively tiny sea turtle skeleton. The neck and part of the skull were preserved disarticulated but closely associated at the anterior of the plastron. There appear to be a number of mosasaur bite marks distributed across the plastron, probably made by a tylosaurus. Parts of the limbs and head were bitten off, but the attacking mosasaur was unable to crush the shell into bite-sized portions. The prepared bones were each molded and casts were used to assemble this small protostegged sea turtle in a three-dimensional lifelike pose. Treebold Paleontology Incorporated now offers casts of this specimen for sale, custom mounted to fit your needs. At five feet long, this incredibly detailed and unique specimen is half the size of the typically huge late Cretaceous sea turtles, which were the largest sea turtles in history. This makes it compatible for display in smaller venues or an easy and greatly enriching addition to an existing exhibit or gallery. Contact Mike Trebold for pricing and information on this or any of our other specimens via email or phone. To view this in a whole museum full of amazing mounted fossil specimens, stop by the RMDRC in our beautiful small mountain town setting just 15 minutes west of Colorado Springs. Please hit the subscribe button and check out some of our other amazing specimens. Like and share this video with your friends so they can see just how big a fossil expert you really are. You can drop by our Facebook page or web pages too. Thanks for watching.